why do you think this topic of quantum intelligence and using our intuition is so important? <laughs> well, uh, and that is, that's a question that you are going to hear me talk about extensively <laughs> throughout the, this, uh, this presentation today, but really just to kick things off, uh, intuition and quantum intelligence in my mind is really uh, the future. It's the way that we are going to learn to think and expand our consciousness as time moves on, as we become more fully our authentic in ourselves. So I think it's really the secret sauce to uh, really giving us the direction, humanity, the direction that we need uh, in, a, in, a, in the big picture. In the little picture, it helps us live our lives better every single day. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I'm going to give the class to you. Let me know when you want me to switch the page. And here we go. <laughs> all right. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Thank you all for being here. I'm so excited to give this presentation today. It's my first presentation on quantum intelligence. This is a sort of a sneak peek of what I'm going to be talking about in my, my forthcoming book, uh, The Illumination Code, that'll be coming out next April. Um, so I'm really excited to talk about this with you guys and put all this out there. Also, if um, you're watching this on your phone and you can't uh, get a second browser for the insight card work we're going to do in a little bit, it's no problem at all. Uh, I, I can pull a card for you as well. So we have some options to so just lots of fun coming up. I'm going to just start out with a little bit of background about what quantum intelligence is, how it relates to intuition in a contemporary perspective. And then we're going to do a lot of fun work and actually put some stuff to work and you're going to get some guidance for your life today. So there's there's a lot of good stuff coming up. Um, should we jump into the screen share? Ah, there we go. Look at that. Perfect. OK, so I'm just going to dive right in. So um, this this sentence, I think, is the biggest mindset shift that we need to embody as we move forward, working with our intuition and understanding the expansion of consciousness. A part of you knows everything. So really think about that. What does that mean, right? I think we forget that there's this sort of another dimension of ourself that actually has access to all the information in the universe. And that that's what quantum thinking is really about. It's about accessing that part of you that knows everything, that all-knowing part of your inner wisdom. And now we understand that's no longer a woo-woo idea. You know, it's not just something like... Um, an abstract thought. It's actually real and there's a scientific reasons behind it. And we're going to talk about quantum physics and why it tells us that we all have access to this part of ourself that knows everything. Okay, next slide. So I always like to start things off. This is one of my favorite quotes from the Bhagavad Gita. Intuitive realization is the king of sciences, the king of sciences, the royal secret. It is the first perception of truth, the imperishable enlightenment. This is from one of the oldest ancient texts. 3,000 years ago, this wisdom, we knew that intuitive realization is even a science. It's not just something a feeling or something abstract. It's a science. It's part of life. It's part of the mystery that we're just tapping into and starting to understand. Uh, so keeping this in mind, this is sort of the spirit that we're going to move on for in this today. So next slide. So if you don't know me, I just wanted to get a little, a little quick thing. If you don't know me, I'm Kim Chesney. Uh, I, I've, wrote, I've written three groundbreaking uh, intuition books. The third one is yet to be released, but I've been teaching intuition for 20 years. I'm super passionate about it, if you haven't figured that out already. And I, you know, I, I really am, uh, what I do, I founded Intuition Lab just to kind of explore the new frontier and really see where intuition can take us. For me, it's something that never ends. I'm continuing to explore it. We as human beings are continuing to explore it. That's why I call it a lab, because all of the things that we do in the lab helps us to really go deeper into the mystery of intuition and the mystery of our inner wisdom and that inner dimension. And I think generation after generation, we're starting to get closer to this real understanding of how our minds work intuitively. So, um, okay, next slide. Okay, so this is what's ahead, a quick outline. I'm going to start by talking about why intuition is quantum intelligence, what that actually means, um, and tell you a little bit about the physics behind that, the science behind that, uh, the art behind that, the spirituality behind that. And then we're going to talk about four basic mindset shifts that will help us really to embody this 
culture of insightfulness in our life and learn to live by our intuition. All right. So, and then after we do that, we're going to actually do actually kind of intersperse with that. We're going to do three little exercises. The first one we're going to do our intuition wormhole exercise. We're going to practice making a decision uh, with our quantum intelligence. And then we're going to do the cosmic yes and no, which is going to give us a red light or a green light and show us how to use our intuition to get that expansive or dissonant energy under control when we're making choices. And then finally, at the end, we're going to use insight cards so you can get a personal message from the moment from the universe right now from any area of your life where you're looking for a little guidance. And we're going to wrap it up with a little farewell sign. I have a a little exercise to get some additional validation. So um, please stay with us. Uh, the, The good stuff is at the end once we figure out how to use everything. So there's a lot of great stuff in store um, for the next probably 45 minutes or so. So great. Next slide. Okay. So, so this is the big question, right? If you're here, you've probably had one, two, a million experiences with your intuition. You're probably someone who believes in intuitions, understand that there's something going on, that it's, it's a real natural part of our life. But have you ever stopped and said, well, how does it actually work? right? When I know something that I shouldn't know, how do I get that information? When I have this idea to go do something creative or start something in my life, like where is that coming from, right? And I think for me, as someone who has been exploring intuition you know, for my whole life, that was an ongoing question. Like what, what is actually happening? What is this process about? And, you know, what I've come to understand by uh, really working with some of the leading edge physicists in science uh, that are working right now in this area is that there are actual real scientific reasons for this. Uh, It's not just, you know, spirits and woo woo, although that's part of it, right? That's, that's part of it, but there's something else going on that allows all that to happen. What's happening with our intuition does not go against the laws of the universe. It goes against different laws of the universe or goes with different laws of the universe, right? The quantum laws. It doesn't operate by the the laws that we see here in our reality with classical physics. So we're going to talk about how that works and why that shift is so important for making that shift to intuitive thinking. 